Hey guys, so in this video, I want to show you a free way you can edit your uh, your digital paintings, your uh, canvas paintings, or uh, scans of your paintings, and put those into mockups to really highlight your artwork. Um, this is a great alternative to taking your own photos because um, if you have um, maybe their, um, you know, watercolors that are on just like pieces of paper, um, you would have to otherwise go to the store and buy, you know, all kinds of frames uh, for them. Like maybe some would look good in black, but others don't. You'd have to buy all these frames to photograph your artwork. And this is a great alternative to that. Um, Mockups are also great for um, really like, uh, showcasing your artwork uh, in like a homey space or maybe it's like kind of like next to like a, like a workspace desk um, and really show off like what it would look like in different spaces uh, which is really great for customers who are trying to envision like what it would look like in their home. Um, like uh, some of them will have them next to plants or they'll have them like above a living room couch uh, with just like, you know, like some pretty like basic decor. And it can really help people like envision your work in like an actual physical space. Um, so uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to do this in uh, Canva, which is a free uh, design uh, software. Um, it's basically for people that are non-designers, where um, like graphic designers would normally use like the Adobe Suite, like Photoshop, or like Illustrator to do this. So I'm going to show you where you can get a mock-up. Um, there are a lot of different websites that offer them, um, like Mockup World, you can find them on Behance. Graphic Pair has good ones that um, you do have to pay money for them. Sometimes they're around like $12 or they can be more than that if it's like really fancy. Um, but there are a lot of places where you can get free ones. Um, or Media Loot, uh, DZ Design uh, Resources. I will also uh, put links to all the ones I know about below and you can kind of like go around, check them out and see, you know, see what they offer for the kind of like, the kind of like size that you're looking for. And um, some of them will have like different sizing. Um, so like if you're in the US, um, you're gonna have like a different size print than what is like normal like in the UK. So some of these places will also like offer different sizes for where you are in the world. So, um, so yeah. Uh, so here's the little tutorial on that. Here we are on Creative Booster. Uh, I already went and selected poster mockups. So here you can see uh, different kinds. Um, it should also include uh, more like artistic ones to show off photos or digital paintings or um, you could also like put in your own painting in there and um, these are great to really show your customers like what it could look like in their home. Um, and that really can like help sell your artwork if people can envision it, uh, like how it's going to look like um, up on the wall, framed, um, all that good stuff. So I actually went ahead and um, I'm just going to use one that I already grabbed. Okay, so here we are in Canva. You can uh, just go ahead and make your, just like create an account. Um, it was really easy. Um, it just used like um, my Google account um, or you could use your Facebook account and it like, it was just instant. I don't even have to do anything else. Um, so yeah, so this is free design software um, basically for like non-designers so it just kind of like makes things a lot easier for other people uh so let's uh try out a postcard i think that would be kind of like a good size and go use this template 
And so this is pretty cool. You can kind of like go and edit your own things, but we don't want that. So let's just go and delete it. And I try, I try to do this already. So let's kind of like throw this out. I'll just kind of like put it in the background. And okay, so here we go. We have this like on top. And so this is, um, here's a mock-up that I already found, um, that I liked, um, or I guess it's kind of like a fake mock-up. It's just really just like a photo that someone went over, uh, you know, the inside and just like, uh, face, like, I don't know, put like a rectangle in there so it didn't have like anything else there. Um, and we can kind of like resize this. Let's see. That's kind of cool. So this is a scan that I did edit, but I didn't crop it just so I could like show you guys like what you can do in here. So actually let's make this bigger. And there's a little crop tool here. Let's see, kind of like line that up there. Click done. And there we go. There's like a pretty decent mock-up. Uh, normally I don't use Canva because I do have like um, the Adobe Suite. So normally I would either do this in Illustrator if it's just like something like this where it's a photo and then I just kind of like put my own artwork on top of it. Um, or you can find other mockups. Some of the ones you might download would be for uh, Adobe Photoshop and the they might have like other settings in there to do like special drop sh shadows or um, some of them will like imitate what sunlight looks like over the glass of the frame. Um, so, like some are kind of like fancy like that. Um, but I think this is actually like a pretty decent way you can do this um, for free without having to have a subscription to the Adobe Suite. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see, let's just like go download this. What do they have in here? Um, yeah, so I would suggest using, I would also suggest using like a PDF print. Um, yeah, so again, it says this is going to be like the highest quality for this. Or um, a PNG is also good too. Um, whereas like a JPEG will throw out information just so it can make, um, it can make like the like download or upload of like that image smaller. So you really don't want that. And if you use like a PNG, it's gonna throw out less of that information. PDFs can, but I think this will be good. Uh, just going with the PDF print and Okay, so that's kind of cool. I think this is uh, the crop marks and bleed are for like um, when you send this to print, it's going to add that in there. So the printer, um, so the printer knows that um, like where to cut where to cut this out. Um, so that's not really like for you. We don't really need this right now because we're not printing it. <laughs> and that's kind of cool. You just go to like select which page you want to download and let's check that out. Oh, that's cool. They kind of like, they put like, <laughs> look at this. They put like our mock-up into like their own mock-up. <laughs> that's cute. And it's like really cool um, actually. Uh, so you can like see like what it would look like if you you know, if you were using this to like make a postcard. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, so let's open it up. Okay, yeah, cool. So this probably went into my downloads 
and yeah that's I feel like that looks pretty pretty real um it's it can be like definitely better than like trying to take your own photos because uh, it took me a long time to figure out how to photograph my artwork and scanning it can be so much better um and I think it can be a lot more accurate um if you have like a pretty decent scanner um and yeah let me see um I did edit this um inside photoshop like uh this is like after I like scanned it and stuff but you can find like you can go and find like other like free photo editing software like that's why I just like put in google um I used GIMP when I was in high school it's like it's basically like a free easier version of photoshop it like or at least like back then when I was using it it didn't have like exactly um as many um kind of like tools and stuff that you would use in photoshop but if, I mean, like, if you use these free ones, it's probably gonna have, like, what you need. Um, like, maybe, like, a retouch tool to get rid of, um, I don't know, maybe for some reason you didn't like what your signature looked like. So you just kind of, like, go over there, retouch it, and then it's gone. Um, or it's probably gonna have, like, a crop tool or a rotate tool so you can kind of, like, uh, fix it up a little bit and uh, these things are definitely going to have things like to uh, brighten it up, maybe like add some contrast, maybe change the saturation, um, all of that stuff. Um, like this is all stuff that you can get like for free like just using like Instagram or something. Um, so, I mean, these are all just like basic photo editing um, tools that a lot of places are going to have available. You don't necessarily have to have Photoshop to just like edit your photos and just do those basic things. Photoshop is for like people who want to go like really crazy and you can do like a lot with Photoshop. Like you can make uh, GIFs with it or you can like do really crazy collages and you can you can like digitally paint in it so it has like all of these other things in it that maybe just you as like maybe like a small business owner or maybe you're like a painter or artist you know you probably don't need all of those things just to you know edit your photo and get that picture out there for your clients to check out um so yeah hey guys so i hope you like this video let me know in the comments below if you have any questions um or uh i don't know like any other comments to the video i will definitely go check them out um and if you like the video give it a thumbs up um i'm also working on making uh more little tutorials for people that are into doing like arts and crafts things or helping people out with like their small business um and uh yeah so check out my uh youtube um i am jc shanky and uh yeah so uh that's my youtube channel and uh yeah subscribe if you want to see more uh, you can check out more of my artwork at Callie & Co. Um, I have my own website at callieandco.com or I have my own Instagram that shows um, what I'm working on and like all the different things that I'm making for my business. And uh, if you want to support me on Patreon, that'd be awesome too. <laughs> um, I have like a couple like different tiers on there. Um, like even as low as like $1 a month or whatever. And if you haven't used Patreon before, it's basically just like a way to support other like artists and makers and people are, uh, you know, putting content out there and you just want to give them a little thumbs up and, uh, you can quit anytime you want. 
Um, and you can donate as much as you want to to people. And usually people have like different tiers um, and like rewards, like depending on like how much someone donates. So it's just kind of like a cool way to like um, support people that you like what they're doing. And I don't know, it makes people feel good because they'll be like, oh my gosh, like all these people are like supporting me. Um, so yeah, it's like a pretty cool place. Um, I think that's it. Um, so yeah, um, I'm actually like making a lot more videos like recently. So subscribe to stay updated on what I'm doing and I'll catch you guys later. All right. Bye.